Hello and welcome to the Biogas 5000 webinar, your complete verification tool for AD. So the purpose of this webinar is just to talk briefly about biogas and rope digestion and also the Biogas 5000 Geotech's biogas analyzer. So who are Geotech? Most of you know us already. We have been in business for 40 years and 25 of those have been in landfill. We've sold over 8,000 analyzers and the map shows you a few of the countries where we have sold into. And this is not a completely exclusive map, but it shows, you know, a good number of the countries. So we've distributors in 60 countries and we're market leader in many of them. We've got 55 staff and a 7 million turnover. So what is biogas? Biogas is made up of decomposing waste. The decomposing waste produces methane and this methane can then be burned to produce electricity or upgraded to be used in things like biodiesel vehicles. There are different scales of anaerobic digestion to produce biogas and this can be small scale farming through to extremely large scale industrial style digesters. So the key gases are methane, carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Methane is essentially the fuel Carbon dioxide is important for the anaerobic process and hydrogen sulfide is a gas we need to monitor because it is damaging to the equipment on site, for instance, your engine or CHP. Other gases that are included are oxygen, carbon monoxide and hydrogen. So why would you monitor biogas? The main reason for monitoring biogas is money. A biogas plant is there to produce electricity that can be sold for money and monitoring this ensures that you're getting the best possible yield and that you're keeping the equipment that you have on site safe and free from damage to avoid downtime and expensive repair costs. So, things to monitor are engine protection from corrosive gases such as H2S, gas yield for what gas you're actually producing in order to calculate how much electricity you can produce from that. Another key reason you might monitor biogas is for environmental concerns. Many countries will have environmental legislation in place and it's important to monitor the gas you are producing in order to comply with all these legislative processes. So this is the Biogas 5000, your complete verification tool for AD. Contrary to the slide, the Biogas 5000 can actually measure six gases in total. CH4, CO2, O2, H2S, CO and NH3. As standard, the analyzer will come measuring CH4, CO2 and O2 and the other three gases are optional extras which can be put in in different configurations. You also have the option to measure flow using a pitot tube or an ATEX anemometer. Uh, from this you can also measure pressure using a pitot tube and temperature using a plug-in ATEX certified temperature probe. The biogas is an extremely reliable piece of equipment. We at Geotech are very proud of it. We've sold over 1,500 of these globally in the last five years. Another key feature is you can download and store data. This can be done via a free software which downloads a very basic spreadsheet version of the data or you can purchase our gas analyzer manager software which can be used for more in-depth processing of the data. So these are the key features of the Biogas 5000 analyzer. When Geotech designed the analyzer, they looked at what we had already in the 2000 series and the biogas check and decided we needed to make it more intuitive and easy to use for users, smaller, lighter and more robust and generally give it a more aesthetic feel. So we did this and the biogas 5000 and the rest of the 5000 series was born. As said previously, you can measure up to six gases and it has extremely good accuracy, particularly on the CH4 and CO2, which are the key gases to measure. These have a plus or minus 0.5% after calibration accuracy. As I've said, you can store and download readings, and this can be particularly useful if you're using the analyzer to data log, which is one of the extremely useful features of the Biogas 5000. As I've said, it was designed to be easy to use. You can see there's a question mark button, and this is designed as a help function. Whatever screen you're in, you can press the question mark and have help with what you are doing at the time. Inbuilt in the analyzer is an onboard tutorial function, which you can turn on or off. This will essentially take you through how to perform a gas reading or a pressure reading or a temperature reading, whichever you're doing at the time. These prompts 
are a full tutorial guide. So if you've never used the analyzer before, you don't need in-depth training because the analyzer is a training tool in itself. You have user selectable languages and there's a choice of seven on the biogas analyzer at the moment. You can measure pressure and temperature and flow with external devices, which will be displayed in the top um, right hand side of the screen as you're looking at this presentation now. And the Biogas 5000 is fully certified to ATEX Zone 2, so it can be used in outdoor explosive environments, which is particularly useful on a gas plant where you're producing explosive gases. So now I'm just going to show you a three videos just to explain how to use the Biogas 5000, how to use an anemometer and how to use a pitot tube. The new simple gas operation on your Biogas 5000 allows you to simply take and store a gas reading. Once your analyzer has switched on and completed its self-test, press next to go to the main gas read screen. Then simply press the pump button and the pump will start running in order to take a gas reading. When you have finished taking your reading, simply press store. That is how you take a quick gas reading on the Biogas 5000. For more information, please visit our website or contact your local distributor. This video will show you how to use an anemometer with the Biogas 5000. Connect the anemometer to the serial port on top of the analyzer. Insert the anemometer into the pipeline in the direction of the flow. From the main gas read screen, choose Next ID. Choose Add to create a new ID. Give your ID a name and then press Return. Press key 2 for ID type, which should be probe. Then key 3 for device type, which should be anemometer. Then key 6 to enter a pipe diameter. Doing this allows you to take a flow measurement in metres cubed per hour. Without a pipe diameter, the reading will be taken in metres per second. Then press add and select return to use your ID. From the main gas read screen, Press System Pressure. When the pressure reading has stabilised, press Gas Readings to fix the pressure reading and take a gas sample. When the gas readings have stabilised, press Flow to fix the gas readings and take a flow measurement. The analyzer will now use the anemometer to get a velocity reading. When the reading has stabilised, press Store. All the readings have now been stored. This video will show you how to use a pitot tube with the Biogas 5000 with user prompts on. Insert the pitot tube into the pipeline in the direction of the flow. Connect the tubing to the pitot like shown. The lower port of the pitot tube must connect to the white port on the analyzer. The top port of the pitot tube must connect to the blue port on the analyzer. From the main gas read screen, choose Next ID. Add a new ID by choosing Add. Use the alphanumeric keypad to type in the name of your ID and then press Return. Use the numbers on the keypad to select the options on the screen. Key 2 for ID type, which should be Probe. Key 3 for device type, which should be Pitot tube. Key 6 for entering the pipe diameter. When you have finished, press Add and then press Return to use your new ID. Follow the on-screen instructions to begin the process by first performing a clean air purge. Once this is complete, press Start. Follow the on-screen instructions to take a system pressure reading. When the reading has stabilised, Press Next to take a gas sample. When the readings have stabilised, press Next to fix the gas readings. Now press Flow. Follow the on-screen instructions to zero the transducers and then press Next. When the flow reading has stabilised, press Next to fix the flow reading. Now press Store to store all your readings against your chosen ID. So why would you use a Biogas 5000? We've kind of covered this already, but I'm going to go through the main applications that you can use the analyzer for. The first one is to monitor digester performance. 
the digester obviously produces gas as a liquid phase and a gas phase. The biogas 5000 can be used to monitor the gas phase. From this you can gauge how well your biological process is working. You can see how calorific your gas is that you're producing through easy calculations. And you can make sure that the process is not going sour or bad and that you're going to produce gas that isn't usable in order to create electricity. Another key application of the Biogas 5000 Analyzer is to monitor other equipment on site. This could be fixed position analyzers, for instance if you have a fixed position analyzer monitoring your CHP or engine, or if you have a hydrogen sulfide scrubbing system on site you might use the analyzer to monitor pre and post scrubbing. And the Biogas 5000 can be then used to check that this fixed position analyzer is working correctly, be that a Geotech 3000 plus or a system from one of our competitors. As previously mentioned, engine protection is a huge application for this analyzer. The engines are extremely expensive and making sure they are not going to be damaged by harmful gases such as hydrogen sulfide is a very important use of this analyzer. I'd like to thank you for attending this short webinar and invite any questions that you may have.